A new poll on election 2019 shows that if Jacksonville's upcoming election was held today, Mayor Lenny Curry would win far ahead any of his challengers. The University of North Florida poll shows Curry a Republican with 52% of the vote and his closest challenger, Republican Anna Brochet, with a distant 15%. Now, the same holds true for the sheriff's race, where Republican Sheriff Mike Williams has 56% of the vote of those polled over Democrat Tony Cummings with 33%. News 4 Jackson reporter Jim Piggott breaks down the numbers and shows us what we can expect in this upcoming election next month. You know, I'm standing inside the supervisor of elections office downtown. Normally this place is pretty busy before an election, but some are saying we could just see a blowout here with the mayor and sheriff's race. And if that's the case, they may not have a runoff and that could affect other races down the line. The poll found many people already made up their minds and this election may not hold any surprises in key races. The biggest draw is the mayor's race. Here's how it's stacking up right now. Of those polled, Republican Lenny Curry received 52 percent of the vote. Republican Anna Brochet, 15 percent. No party affiliation candidate Omega Allen, 6 percent, followed by Republican Jimmy Hill with 3 percent. It was expected Anna Brochet would start to make a dent in the numbers by now. University of North Florida pollster Mike Bender talked about that on the morning show with News for Jack's anchor Bruce Hamilton. There's been a lot of talk about how she's a player in the game and how she's going to make this big move and challenge the mayor. And it, she's barely registering on voters' minds. And, and Curry, if these numbers hold and he maybe picks up some of the undecideds, he's going to cruise to victory in March and it won't even make it till May. Those polled were asked about the biggest issues in the race. Again, no surprise that crime ranked number one at 62 percent, followed by education, health care, and downtown redevelopment. In the race for sheriff, if it were held today, Mike Williams would walk away with 56 percent of the vote, well ahead of challenger Democrat Tony Cummings, who right now would get 33 percent. And if this poll holds true, it's likely the mayor's race would not go to a runoff, and that could affect turnout for council races down the line. The history shows that if the mayor, the big ticket uh, items are no longer on the ballot for the general election, it drops like a rock. Uh, I think it was in 1991, it went from uh, high 20s to 16% in the general election. So that could have an impact. That could have an impact on what we do in, in, in May, absolutely. Mike Hogan adds that if the council at large races, which are citywide, are also decided in the first round, they won't open up all of the precincts in May. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.